Want to achieve a cinematic Hollywood look with only your smartphone? You need one of these. It's an anamorphic smartphone lens. Let's get wide. What's up? I'm RJ Bakulo, here to empower you to tell your stories with the most accessible mobile filmmaking tips, tricks, and techniques. Today's video is shot entirely on an Android mobile device. Achieving the cinematic look has always been the goal of indie and enthusiast filmmakers like myself. It's that something that can elevate seemingly ordinary footage shot on relatively non-professional, affordable cameras into something filmic, as opposed to something that's just merely video. One undeniably popular feature that just screams out cinematic look is that widescreen letterbox effect. The wide aspect ratio, like the Hollywood movies of old, just gives that grander scope of your story that you're trying to tell. Now it's pretty easy to emulate that look on your videos just by slapping some black bars on the top and bottom, essentially cropping your image into that widescreen aspect. And indeed, it, it does make a considerable difference. But if you really want to go for a more authentic cinematic look, then you can use one of these. This is the Ulanzi 1.33x anamorphic lens. Currently, there is a second and third iteration, all with minor incremental improvements. It costs less than 60 US dollars, and it's available on their official website or on online stores like Amazon, Lazada, B&H. Its 1.33 design brings the organic look and character of a 2.39 to 1 ratio image. It's like shooting a wider focal length on the horizontal direction and a longer focal length in the vertical. It works with third-party apps like Filmic Pro or MC Pro 24 FPS to de-squeeze the image when shooting videos. The anamorphic lens works with pretty much all iPhone and Android phones, like the latest iPhone or your Samsung Galaxy series. The product includes a lens and an aluminum clip. Here are a few real-world sample shots that I took on different continents. Let's talk about the pros. Now, surprisingly, it has a solid metal build quality to it. You know it's gonna last, and it's not gonna get crushed in your bag or something. And of course, the selling point of this lens is that it gives you a true anamorphic ratio image. It also gives you a wider angle, if you noticed. So one of its most striking features is that it gives you these anamorphic lens flares. As you can see with these little lights I've set up, you can see the effect of the light going into the glass and those horizontal flares makes night shots even more epic. Think of Ridley Scott's Blade Runner or J.J. Abrams' Star Trek. What's cool too about this Ulanzi lens is that you can get an optional filter adapter for it so that you can attach an ND filter, for example. Now for most filmmakers, especially if you're shooting outdoors, an ND filter is invaluable. Now the last pro, but not the least, or is it the least, is the price. Like seriously, you can get this sucker for less than $60 on Lazada. I've seen it as cheap as 1,700 pesos. And it's really true value because it's almost one third or one fourth the price of its competitors like Moment or Bscript. And yet the quality is very comparable. Now a few cons, which are only a few, I'm happy to say. The lens itself is kind of loose and it wiggles. And if you don't get it right, or if you nudge it by accident, you can get a skewed image in your widescreen. And it can be really annoying. Some people find hacks by like putting some kind of glue or some kind of stopper, but you need to be really wary of that when you do shoot. Another con, I guess it's, it's more nitpicking, but there is a distortion. I mean, it's a wide lens and you'll notice this when you pan up and down where the edges start getting warped. Or if you have a subject on the edges that's not in the center, you'll see their faces getting elongated. Another con too is, especially if you're not using a dedicated uh, phone case with the lens mount like mine, but you're using the, the clip, one of the two clips that comes with it, is that it's hard to get the right positioning or placement. 
It'd be nice if there were some markings on it perhaps, so you can get the right alignment with the lens. It can be really tricky to get it perfect and right. And if it isn't perfectly aligned, you're gonna get a kind of blurred image. Not really a con, but an, I guess an inconvenience for some, is that it requires a third-party app like Filmic Pro or MC Pro 24 FPS to preview a de-squeezed image. Otherwise, if you're just using a native app, you're gonna get a file that's all squashed and everybody looks all skinny and thin. And the last con, which is really personal preference, is the flares might be excessive for some, especially if you compare it to the other expensive competitors. Some people want to have the subtle anamorphic look. But again, it comes down to personal preference. Just a last word on which version to buy. To be honest, the differences between version 1 through to version 3 Pro are so slight, with small character variations in the color tint and coating of the glass, and also the cutoff or the length of the anamorphic flares. Some like the minimal, while others like the full Malcolm Bay style. Whatever the case may be, I believe it will fall in your personal preference. If you really want to step up your mobile filmmaking chops, get yourselves one of these. No more faking that widescreen look with those black bars in post-production. Really, with little to no budget, you can achieve that cinematic look with your smartphone. If you found value in this video, give it a like and hit that subscribe button so you can see more video content just like these. Peace.